Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel Into Tech. Hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn on and customize your Virgin Media's web safe settings. Right, so let's get to it. First thing we need to do is open up our browser, go to our search engine and search for My Virgin Media. When you search for it, it should be the one at the top of the page on the search engine. So when it is there, just click on it, which will take you to the login page. Just click on sign in. Now just continue to sign in with the account information you have, which will be your email address and password. It may ask you for the new biometrics, but you can just skip this if you want to like I have in this video. That may also ask you to add an authentication method. Again, you can just continue and skip this also. Now that you have logged into your account homepage, as you can see, you can do a number of things here. You can see your latest bill, view your package, check the service status if you are having problems with your service. Maybe your TV's down or your broadband's slow, so you can just check server status on there and that will tell you if there's any problems on the network equally you can also go onto Netflix and activate that so it becomes part of your monthly bill but for this video we will just be going to update settings which is where the web safe settings are now that you've clicked on update settings go ahead and click on online security at the top as here you'll see the options to manage your web safe settings as you can see in the paragraph at the top the web safe helps you stay safe online by protecting your devices on your home network here you can choose your level of protection that's right for you and your family for example you might have children in your household and you might want to prevent them from seeing certain things online if that's the case this is how you do it so you will see when you first log into your web safe settings the virus safe will be switched on by default i recommend keeping this on and do not touching it as you can see it helps protect against fraudulent websites and websites that may contain viruses the next tab below is the child safe tab this is where you can toggle this on or off and this is how you control what people can and can't see on your home network. Once you turn it on, you can see there are a number of settings on the right hand side that are blocked by Virgin Media by default. Now I'm not going to read all of the settings on the right hand side that are blocked by default as I don't want this video to get copyrighted or banned, but you can clearly see what they are all common sense things really now on the left hand side you can select additional options that you may want to block things like social media gaming illegal downloads online dating maybe even gambling websites any that you want to block just toggle them on and they will turn green and say blocked next to them once you've done that scroll down click apply then you will see your settings have been updated now just to show you how good these settings are I will do a quick search on my browser for dating websites some well known ones and show you that none of them load up. Now moving on to the next sub menu from categories to websites this one's very simple you can just block certain websites individually if you want you can allow certain websites all you have to do copy the web address for the site you want to block paste it into there click add and then apply. Just a quick reminder if you are enjoying the video please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Thank you. Right let's get back to it. The third and final option is to set a timer to turn the child safe on and off at a time that suits you. The options here are never, weekdays, Monday to Friday, weekends, Saturday, Sunday and every day. For the purpose of this video I'm going to select Monday to Friday which would be a handy thing to do say if your kids are at school you could turn the child safe off during the hours your children might be at school and then have it set to come back on when your children are home but that of course is just an example you can just set it up however you see fit once you have put in the parameters that you like don't forget to click on apply to save the settings now that you've set all of your web safe settings up how you like don't forget to go up to the top and sign out of your virgin account 
Right, well that brings to an end another one of our Virgin Media tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please check out some of our other Virgin Media videos. Also, consider subscribing to the channel, Into Tech. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.